Hey guys, today I want to show you how to derive some trigonometric identities. It is pretty simple and knowing this is very useful when you need to reason and you know when you need to play with different trigonometric functions, okay? If you know how to derive trigonometric identities, you're going to be able to do really good things regarding pretty much anything in calculus because believe it or not, a lot of things in calculus require you to know many things about trigonometry, okay? So yeah, this is very important, so let's begin. Now, uh, we're going to derive a couple of equations today, and we're gonna begin, um, we're gonna begin from a equation, we're not gonna derive it, but it will be like the first step to, towards deriving the other equations. So, uh, let's begin with the equation that I'm telling you about, which is this one. Sine squared of theta plus cosine squared of theta is gonna be equal to one, okay? This is one equation. Now, Remember, an equation, you can play with the equation in any way that you want, as long as anything that you do on the left side of the equation, you do, you do it on the right side of the equation. So what I'm saying that we're going to do the following. We're going, to, there are, we're going to divide this side of the equation and also this side of the equation by uh, sine squared theta, okay? And over here, 2 sine squared theta, okay? When you do this, you're not changing anything in the equation. You're just simply, you know, creating a change that will be uniform, okay? So you can do that. Now, uh, now that I think about it, I want to show you what equation we're going to uh, we're gonna arrive to uh, by doing this. And the equation that I want to show you in this case, I would be sine cosine theta cotangent. Yeah, it would be this one. Uh, this equation, 1 plus cotangent squared theta is equal to, uh, that would be a cosecant squared theta, okay? This is the equation that I'm, I'm deriving right now just so that you know and you have a bit of context about what we're doing here. So yeah, let's continue. Now we know that we can distribute this denominator to, um, for the, to the two terms that we have on top. So we're gonna have one, uh, one plus, yeah, that's one plus uh, cosine squared theta over sine squared theta, okay? And on the right side, well, remember that one is also, is equal to one squared. So if you have a sine squared and one squared, you can, you know, like factor out a square from there, from there. you could say it like that. So you have one over uh, sine theta squared, okay? You have something like this. Now, you can do also something pretty similar on this side with the cosine theta and the sine theta. So you have one plus uh, cosine theta over sine theta squared. And this is equal to one over sine theta, remember, is going to be cosecant theta. Cosecant squared theta, okay? And now you, you now you can see the first, you know, uh, the first trait of the equation that we have uh, on this corner, okay? Which is going to be the right side of the equation. Now we know that uh, if you want to simplify cosine theta and sine theta, something that you can do the following. Remember that tangent theta is equal to sine theta over cosine theta. And now if you take, uh, you know, if you switch the fractions in this equation, well, what you're going to get is that 1 over tangent theta is equal to uh, cosine theta over sine theta, okay? This is what you get, and this is exactly what we have in the parentheses. parentheses. Um, <clears throat> so now what we're going to do is, well, we're going to plug this value in there, so we know we're going to get 1 plus uh, 1 over tangent theta squared, and this is equal to cosecant squared theta. And now, well, you know that 1 over tangent, I hope that you know that, is going to be equal to uh, cotangent theta, okay? And now you see how we get to this equation. You can simply, now you have 1 plus, 1 over tangent is going to be cotangent squared, you have cotangent uh, squared theta, and this is equal to uh, cosecant squared theta, okay? And here's your equation that, well, we were trying to get to this form and we got to it, okay? So you can see it's pretty simple. The only thing that you need to do is you need to start somewhere, in this case, that is, you know, like the philosophy, do something to the equation. And now that something is going to be dividing by sine theta on both sides, okay? You get one by, you know, this, dividing this term and this term. And then, well, this one is going to be cotangent, cosine theta over sine. It's also going to be cotangent squared, cotangent squared. And 1 over sine is also going to be cosecant, okay? And, well, here's how you get this equation, okay? Now let's continue to a different equation. 
Now the next equation that we want to derive is, th is this one. One plus, uh, I believe it is, yeah, tangent squared theta is equal to secant squared theta, okay? This is the equation we will try to derive now. So let's begin. Once again, we're gonna start with our, you know, like our basic equation, which is this one, sine uh, squared theta plus cosine squared, this is supposed to be uh, an S, uh, cosine squared theta is equal to one. That looks so bad, I don't know why I'm writing like that, I'm sorry. Uh, so cosine squared theta equals one. Now, since we divided by sine squared theta, on the previous, for, for, to derive the previous equation. Well, now in this case, we're going to uh, divide by cosine, okay? So we know we need to do that on both sides of the equation. So we're gonna have uh, cosine squared theta over cosine squared theta. Now we know this will be equal to sine, uh, sine squared theta over cosine squared theta uh, plus one and this is equal to one over cosine squared theta, okay? We have this equation, now what can we do? Once again, remember, tangent is equal to sine over cosine. So if you wanna see it more clearly, well, you can write it like this. You have sine theta over cosine theta, which is tangent, and this is gonna be squared plus one. And once again, uh, what you have over there is gonna be one over cosine theta and this fraction squared, okay? Now you have this, and now you just simply need to replace um, replace the formulas, or well, replace using formulas that you know. So we know this term will be equal to tangent theta. So we have tangent theta squared plus one, and this simply, remember, one over cosine is equal to secant. So you have secant squared of theta, okay? And well, once again, this is the equation we were trying to derive. You can see that deriving trigonometric equations, um, it is pretty simple as long as you know how to play with other equations that you know. You know, we would not be able to get to this form if you didn't know that tangent is equal to sine over cosine, or if you didn't know that secant is equal to one over cosine, which is what we used in this part. So you need to know all those things in order to, you know, derive all the trigonometric equations or our identities that you need to use, okay? You don't really need to memorize these equations as long as you're able to derive them, okay? Usually you will be able to memorize them because they're nothing too crazy. This is basically the Pythagorean theorem, okay? This is the Pythagorean theorem, but just in the unit circle. We proved that in the, in my previous video, so if you wanna go, well, you should go and check it out. Um, but yeah, it is pretty simple. I hope you, well, you like this. Uh, you enjoyed this mini lecture, you learned something, and yeah, um, I hope to see you in the following video, bye.